into the rehearsal studio, saw the cast of Paper Crane busy getting their act perfected for the opening show on Friday. The new epic musical, Paper Crane, brings to life the Cantonese opera world filled with drama, love, friendship and not missing the bitter rivalry to be a star. Lyricist Teng Kai Gun and music composer Lim Chuang Ying managed to capture the essence of the opera in a contemporary fashion. Uh, it's, a, it's a very typical uh, plot where you have a, a young upstart taking over the uh, existing superstar and in between uh, you have the love scenes. Yeah, it's basically set at the backstage of an uh, opera troupe. This, we wanted to do something that has a cultural aspect to it. Uh, Chuang Yik and I, we are uh, English-speaking people and we, we, we don't really understand our culture and this sort of gives us a glimpse into uh, Chinese culture and also it would hopefully give a glimpse of culture to the audience. The play is supported by a 17-strong singing and dancing ensemble with a seven-piece live band, which is skillfully directed by Mervyn Peters as the music director to bring the Broadway-style numbers to life, alongside choreographer Lex Lakshman. The play boasts of a handsome lineup of award-winning stars such as Rook Stan and Lee Elaine as the lead, Colin Curtin, Ho Sun Yoon, and veteran star Patrick Theo. The role that I'm playing is that of uh, Fuiko, he is the sort of nemesis to Akit, the lead character, and he's the superstar incumbent uh, in the opera troupe. Uh, it's a fun role because uh, he's kind of like the villain, although I don't want to paint him just as a villain. He's a very human person with, with faults. Uh, I think he's probably one of the most colourful characters on stage, very diva-esque, and uh, it's been a lot of fun playing the role. If the good lineup of actors hasn't lured you in to catch the play, perhaps the costumes might. Paper Crane has the famed Japanese costume designer Shinko Tokihiro to design some vibrant and colorful costumes for the cast. He was initially given a very brief summary um, that this is a musical about a Cantonese opera troupe and when he heard that the title was called Paper Crane, it all just came to him in an instant. For this project, he has used, of course, Malaysian textiles, but also from Japan, as well as some French textiles. So it's an amalgamation of the textiles of the world. Perhaps the biggest challenge for director Joe Hasham is the fusion of the old and new and to present it seamlessly in Cantonese and English for the audience to enjoy. However, veteran actor Patrick Theo, who plays the manager of the opera troupe, says the bilingual aspect will not be a problem. The way the songs are, are written and the way the whole play is acted, I think, is a very simple story anyway. So there will be no problems understanding it. And although quite a fair bit of the dialogue is in Cantonese, um, a lot of the songs remain in English. So even if you didn't understand the dialogue, when the song begins, you, you sort of can connect what these people are saying from listening to the English songs. Ah, that was what they were saying in Cantonese, that, that sort of thing. So no problems. Paper Crane, produced by the Actors Studio, promises a treat to audiences from across different generations. It's a, it's a wonderful story. Uh, and it's, there are some wonderfully humorous scenes in it. There are some very dramatic scenes in it. There are also some very poignant scenes in it that really you... A lot of people, I feel, will wish that they had brought a box of tissues with them, especially in the second act. The play premieres on 27 July until 19 August in KL Pak and tours to Penang Pak from 25th August to 2nd September.